giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, the one that's to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere shall warm to the eye that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. It's going to be a really, um, it's going to be a really, uh, quick video on, um, I guess you could call it staying alert and having patience pretty much. So staying alert and, and, and I might title it staying alert slash having patience is, is something on the lines of that, you know, something on the lines of that, if not that, you know, exactly. But, um, it's, there's a reason why the Lord set up watchmen, you know, and, and us, you know, the Lord got, got us, you know, in the job, it's like here. In the office of being a watchman, you know, looking out for these, um, you know, current events, you know, looking out for all this stuff that's going to come down the wire, man. You know, because shit is going to start getting wild out here, man. You know, we start to see, the, you know, more and more stuff happening. This uh, this sea sickness is on is on is on a rise again and stuff like that. You know, they're going to use that to further implement more, you know, more shutdowns and more fuck scenes and stuff like that. And it's our job to tell the people. You know, it's our job to tell the house of Israel, do you know, watch out for that stuff, right? For we we are not ignorant of his devices, his designs, his his philosophies, you know what I'm saying, his medicines and all of this other stuff, man. I'm not saying you can't you you know you shouldn't do what you what you gotta do. You gotta go to the hospital, go take your ass to the hospital, right? But you know, when it comes to fuck scenes and stuff like that. You know, you gotta you gotta really, really watch and be mindful of everything, man. So if you're taking some type of medicine, let's say you got high blood pressure, right? There are herbs to help with that, right? Um, but if it like skyrockets and you and you damn near like having strokes and shit, you got you gotta take the medicine. But just be very mindful of what of what you take and how much you take and stuff like that. If you're on some type of medication and you can't help certain things, because that's just the hell that we in. Right, a lot of times you just can't pop a herb and just say, "Hey, I'm healed," because the Lord is going to constantly remind us. Now, when we don't, uh, uh, you know, we don't, you know, stop taking the herbs. We don't, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We we don't we we continue to take the herbs as as maintenance. But if it's so out of control and you damn near get ready to fall out and get ready to die, and shit, take the medication, man. Enough of you know what I'm saying. You can't be over righteous, man. But again. That's all part of being a watchman. That's all part of being, you know, having faith and having patience. That's all part of it. Okay. So this is the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 42. It says, uh, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. So that's another thing, man. That's probably, that's the main thing. When this bitch shuts down, man, we don't know when it's going to happen. Right, we don't know when anything is going to happen. We didn't, we didn't know when that when that whole sea sickness was going to kick off. Right now, they have they have books, they have books um, explaining, you know, about that, you know, Wuhan. I think it was one thousand or some shit like that. Right, uh, so they had books saying right around the time that it was going to come out, like twenty nineteen or whatever. But it didn't happen in twenty nineteen. It happened more in 2020, see? So, you see, the Lord, the Lord got, you know what I'm saying? It, it, but it, let's say it didn't happen in 2020. No, I think he said 2018. But then what happened? It came over here in 2020, right? Then on the 2021 and then on up, right? So, and so, you don't know, Salaki, you don't know when the Lord is going to, is going to throw something on you, man. This is why we have to watch and pray so we don't get taken by this shit, man. Because you don't know when the Lord is going to come back, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah don't know when Yahweh going to send them back. But I, I want to say that to a balance because I'm pretty sure he has a, a, a little bit of an idea, right? But anyway, verse 43, it says, but know this. That if the good man of the house, right? If the good man of the house, right, had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and how and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. That's part of being a watchman. You being a watchman over your household. So the Lord, 
the Lord said we are the um we are the uh the house we are the house of Israel, okay? And he and he is pretty much the husband of that house. Now, what is a husband? A husband, when you go into that definition, a husband is the master of a household, the head of the household. Over everybody in that household. Yes, including the wife. Because people got problem with that. Yes, the husband is over the wife. The husband is in control of the household. Not these husbands out here, though. These husbands out here, man, they 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 full sit mode. Right? A lot of them. And some of them may say, Yeah, man, I run my household, but then you when they when they around their woman, you see she running shit. Right? A lot of people just think husband is just it's just to be a husband, you have to be uh, married to a woman. That's not the case, right? Because, because again, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, our big brother Yahweh Shai, is a husband to us, man. A master of the household. Okay? Is the master of a household. Right? Now, in order to be a wife, you have to be a servant. That's just what it is. So you say I, I'm, I'm this. So when you woman say I'm this man's wife, you know what you're saying when you say you're that man's wife. Look up the definition of wife, and you'll see it goes back to servant. So when you say you're that man's servant and you, and you're running the household, you're not a wife. Part of being a watchman is going into words and warning and edifying, man. Right. So you know you don't get taken by the BS, man. Okay, it's all part of it. Verse forty four, because you got you got these 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 camps like Chief Ephraim, man. This guy, yeah, man, GMS, man. Y'all know all the breakdowns and stuff like that. Ain't that what it's about, right? Ain't that what it's about? Because y'all not teaching nobody no breakdowns, right? You get y'all y'all man. This is why you a lot of you other Israelite camps, man. Y'all get stumped up on on simple questions when when y'all get approached on shit, man. Because you don't teach the people to to, uh, to to read and learn, man. And go into words. Look at what, know what you're reading. We are not out there for drama. We are out there to edify, man. You just claim that we go in secluded areas. Man, the video is up on YouTube, man. What's the issue? Right? The, video, the videos is up on YouTube. And people are everywhere, man. So what the hell is the issue? You're obviously watching. Say nobody watching y'all niggas. You obviously watching. We got camps all around the world, man. We got camps overseas. I don't see an IUIC all overseas. I don't see an IGPK overseas. I don't see another Chief E from group overseas. I don't see none of them people overseas. I don't see a Wi-Fi overseas. We are. I'm subscribed to a brother now. He's in Mexico, man. And he's out there by himself. With the Bible and hit and hit and you know the, the Spanish, you know what I'm saying? But he's out there by himself all the time. He does videos just like us, and he's GMS. So by you saying nobody watching us, we got camps overseas. What are you talking about? The main camp is over here in New York. You got camps in Germany. You know, that's how you know that we are fulfilling our job. The Wadi Yahweh by Shemi Shah that we are fulfilling our job as being watchmen, man. Prophesying and warning and edifying the Israelites all around the world to the point that camps are popping up all around the world. You know, camps in Hawaii. How many IUIC guys you know in Hawaii, man? Right? How many, man? Because a lot of the a lot of these other camps, man, they just they just go after black people. The so-called black people. We go after all twelve tribes. There is no twelve tribes of so-called black people, man. That makes no sense. Judah Judah is one tribe. Judah is not twelve tribes. Okay. It says, therefore, be ye ready, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another precept on that too. We gotta be ready, man. Right? 
Mark chapter chapter 13, verse 33. It says, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is, mm -hmm. right? So we got to watch. We're watching, constantly watching, praying, watching, praying, watching, praying. This is why this stuff that happens all around the world, it doesn't catch us by surprise, right? It doesn't catch us by surprise because we watch and we look we look out for that type of stuff, man. All right? All right, it's like a little, little interruption. Anyway, take ye heed. Let me just read it again. It says, take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when the time is, right? See, if everybody knew, you know, when it, when it's like, like the year 2000 prophecy, if everybody knew, you know what I'm saying, what was, what was to come and when it was going to happen, you know, everybody just... You'll see the behavior. Everybody just be phony as shit. See, the Lord wants faithful men, you know, as well as you know the the elect the elect woman too, right? He wants faithful people, who who are obviously Israelites, the elect. That's who he wants. And again, if everybody knew that that what was happening, what was going to happen, and when it was going to happen, you'll have so many fake ass people trying to join these camps. It'll be ridiculous, man. Right? You'll have lines and lines of of, of Fake ass Israelites, man. Right? This is why the Lord said this is why the Lord said this is a mystery. Okay, it's, it's, it's a mystery. So it's, we're watching and praying. We're watching and praying. And this is what we through the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. This is what we warn you, so-called Negro Latino and Native American people, to do. Watch and pray. Okay? Watch and pray. So you're not taken, again, like I said earlier, so you're not taken by these devices. All right? So you're not caught off guard and you look forward to the day of, you, in fact, you hasten the day of the coming of our Lord, man. Because when the Lord comes, man, he's going to come like a thief in the night. And I'm going to get that in a second. And he catch you lacking, that's it. Right? Part of him, part of his return is this bitch shutting down. And if you're not, if you're not straight and you're not mind, you're not right in the mind and you're not worshiping the Lord, you how you, you caught lacking. You're going to be left out there, man. Right. This is why we don't stress it like that, man. Because it is what it is. You get it or you don't. We don't stress that shit like that. We put the message out there and that's it. Okay. Second Peter chapter three, verse eight, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is what the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. This is why we say this is this is a patient scripture because it said to, to prove that to you. It said, but beloved, OK, you be me being uh, Israelites as his fellows. OK, and he said, don't be ignorant of this one thing. Right. Because you cannot look at, this is why I always, when it comes to certain situations, right, I always think more about the, about the Lord's timeline. For example, first example that pops up in my head, the, our, our, our so-called slavery. I say so-called slavery because that shit was torture. Okay. 400, going on 500 years ago. That's not even, that's not a full, barely even a full day to the Lord, man. It's like it's barely even half a day to the Lord. This is why I like thinking on, so, so the creation of the earth, because people, you know, that, that whole, the earth been here billions of years. That's a, that's a lie. But the creation of the earth, okay. That is, uh, it's only been a few days. It's only, yeah, it's only been a few days. Right? To the Lord. So when we talk about patience and, and this is going to happen and that's going to happen, what these other camps like doing, especially Bishop, that, that fake guy's Bishop, uh, no, what's his name? Nathaniel, right? Especially him. He'll go, it's June, ain't no microchip, and it's this, that, and the other. We never said, okay, that it's going to happen overnight. An empire has never f fell overnight. Second of all, we go off of what these articles say and we push it out there. Are we saying that it's going to happen on the exact day? 
We say we hope so. In fact, we say we hope it happens sooner. But we never say that it's going to happen on the exact day that they say. We just put it out there as to warning and edifying. To keep everybody, including ourselves, on our toes, man. Because eventually you know it's going to happen. When the Lord puts the spirit on this devil to say something years prior, you know it's you know it's gonna happen like the like the 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 uh you could talk to people way across seas. I could talk I could talk to somebody in China right now, man. Right? I'm talking about FaceTime and everything, man. They put that on old movies long before this was even thought of, man. By by the people. It, long before it was thought of by the people. They told you what they were gonna do. Okay, they told you what they were going to do. Flying cars and shit like that, man. Even though cars somewhat fly any damn way. If you reach a certain speed, especially when it's wet. Hydroplane and this shit. But either way, man, but that that's still part of it. Right? So this is why it's important to realize and to remember that one day to the Lord is a thousand years to us. So we have how many days in the, in the year? 365 days or something like that. One year to the Lord is 365,000 years to us, man. Right? One day to the Lord is what? 365,000 years to us. So that's how, that's how you look at it, man. Okay? Verse 9. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. You see how these you see how these two go hand in hand with each other now? The Lord is not a slack concerning his promise. So when we talk about the promises and the and the, and the things that we're going to get, it's all about having patience. The Lord already promised us this stuff, man. It's only a matter of waiting, right? Uh we had a guy come up Saturday. And he believe he take he's going to take up arms and stuff like that, and you know I, I like picking on people like that because it's just like he kept asking us a bunch of questions of why didn't this ha why why didn't your God come back yet? Y'all ain't no God coming from the sky coming back to save your black ass. That's what he kept saying, shit like you know shit like that. And you know like I said, I like picking on people like that because it's just like, well, are you? Well, obviously you're not. You sitting here bugging out all drunk and shit, right? The guy look, he looked drunk. You still paying bills like I am. So what's the what 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 do you what do you hear bitching what you what do you what do you hear bitching to me for? So about eight old God come. So again, are you? Hey, he asked. Well, why ain't why ain't why ain't come back yet? And then I asked. Well, why didn't you, since you ran out of patience and you so eager to go and, 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 and get yourself killed and shit, why didn't you make a move yet? That's why I like picking on people like that, man. Make a move then. Since the time is now and you're tired of waiting and, and, and we and we could just do it, go do it then. I'm not going to be with you. I guess I'm going to be that little cowardly lion, I guess. I don't know. But I ain't going to be with you. Because you know what's going to happen. You want to get yourself killed or in jail. And you're not going to have shit to show for it. When I attack, right? Or when or when, when armies have attacked before. I was talking about like the armies of Israel have attacked. They had something to show for, for what they fought for. You don't have, you, you're not going to get anything off of this. Except death and in jail. It is like, then what? what? What changed? And this is what we get on these other camps about, man. You're going to fight the Palestinians, right? You're going to march around a building to do what? And go back home and back to your bills and back to your, back to, back to captivity. You don't have anything to show for what you fought for, man. Meaning, it's not the time yet to attack. The Lord is that did not give us the spirit to, of a, of, you know, to attack right now. But he promised us, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. You must have patience. Because one day to the Lord is a thousand years. 
But the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. What is, you know, it says some men count slackness. Okay. Why ain't he come yet? Why didn't he come yet? Because it ain't been that long yet. That's why, nigga. But what about you? Your old ass still ain't doing shit. Y'all freedom fighters, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all are very interesting people. I'm not gonna lie, man. Y'all are very but uh, uh interesting bunch of people. We gotta take up arms and we gotta do this and we gotta do that. But nah, man, y'all. But then he go turn around and say, man, I don't know, man. Y'all making me nervous. See, behavior like that makes me nervous because what happens is you got all this talk, right? You got all this talk, but then when shit really started happening. You hiding in the back. So let's say we you recruited us and we out there, right? And we and we all we really about it. You in the back, you the you the main one that was doing all the talking to try to prep us up. And you in the back, man. I ain't I ain't fucking with that. They got man, nah man, you know, uh maybe another day, man. You know, and shit like that. That's the type of behavior that make me nervous, right? Because niggas that talk a lot, niggas that talk a lot, which is about 99% of y'all, right? That talk a lot of that shit and just do an awful lot of talking. That's y'all, man. Right? It says, but is long suffering to us were not willing that any should come to should, should to like it should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right now we're in a grace period. That's why the Lord ain't come yet, man. Because we're in a grace period. There's still more prophecies that need to be fulfilled. There's more waking up that needs to be done. There's more falling out that needs to be done. There's a whole, there, I don't want to say a whole lot more, but there's still some work that needs to be done. Why well, he ain't come yet? Because nigga, he ain't feel like it, man. He don't feel like it. What you mean, man? But this is what the Old Testament Israelites are like, man. But the Old Testament tells you to wait on him, man. This dude talking about he likes the Old Testament. The Old Testament tells you to wait on the Lord, man. Let me say the so-called Old Testament, because the Old and New Testament, they the same damn thing, man. That's why they're in the same book. Why didn't they have why don't they have a separate book for it then? Right? Anyway. Verse 10. There's the last one. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You're not going to expect it, man. Why well, ain't come yet? Because you ain't going to expect it. Right? You're not going to expect it. Like I said, he don't feel like it. He'll come when he's ready. Okay? May not be in your lifetime. It may not be in our lifetime. Shit, he could choose to come 100 years later, man. And who are we to question him? We don't know. We we, had, we doubt this place got 100, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, got, we doubt if this place got, a, you know, 100 more years. But, yeah, I think about, we said that, we said that, 10 years prior, we said, man, we doubt this place is going to be another, here another 10 years. And here we are like 11 years later. Right? But you do see shit getting worse. So prophecy is definitely happen, happening. Things is getting riled up, man. But we say, when we say those things, it's in a hope that cause we want to get the fuck out of this bitch, man. This is why we say those things. But it's also patience as well. You can't question the Lord on what, what he does or what he can't do. Or what he what he does or what he decide what he decides to do and what he decides not to do. It ain't our business. He'll come when he's good and ready. Let's just leave it at that. The Lord will the Lord will come back. He will send his son here when he's good and ready. He will have his bitch shut down when he's good and ready. As of for right now, we must have patience. We must be watchmen. We must be. We no, must not be ignorant of his of Satan's devices and designs while we're here. Because the Lord said He is not slack concerning His promise. Meaning, that's another thing. Slacking is slow. This is why He said this, man. When you talk about slacking, you're talking about somebody that's slow and lacking, man. Like I don't feel like doing it today. I'll come the next day. The Lord already got a set a, a, a set day when He wants to come and when He don't. Ain't it? It's not on our time. So while it may seem slow to you, 
it's not for the Lord, right? It's like an, it's like an appointment. He's already got the appointment set when he wants to come in. What time and date? He already got the appointment set. You know what he's saying right now? Nigga, you better wait. You just better wait. But you know what happens when you're when you're when you are um your your parent uh you know punishes you or whatever, you try to weasel your way out of the punishment, you make it worse. So now your black ass is in jail, or you're getting body slammed by police and getting shot up by police or getting tased by police and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you end up in jail, you're in slavery inside of slavery. Because you done just made your captivity worse. Instead of just sitting back, doing the Lord's work, chill. Just relax. <laughs> do what you got to do. Right? Hey, that's the spirit, man. You see this? Stay prayed up and spiritually protected. This is this exactly what I'm going into pretty much right now. It says, but the day of the Lord... Well, will come as a thief in the night, right? And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, okay? The earth also and the works there uh, that are therein shall be burnt up. So, faith and patience, man. It's like it. Yeah, faith and, uh, and patience, okay? That's what I say, vigilance, too. Watchful, right? So anyway, giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shemiel Shad? That's all I got on this. Uh, Shalom.